We just saw one tiny mistake lead to a virtual genocide in Iowa this month. Right, so as far as this mistake, it was that someone from the agricultural firm New Cooperative, they left a valve open on an above ground fertilizer storage tank over a weekend with reportedly 265,000 gallons of liquid nitrogen solution spilling first into a drainage ditch, then into the East Nishinabotna River, and it then flowing and continuing until it finally went into a small part of the Missouri River. Now here's the thing, when liquid nitrogen reacts with relatively warm water, it creates ammonia, which is a gas that's toxic to aquatic life. Right, so with the amount of chemicals that we're talking about here, this river system became a deadly gassy mess, causing what one Missouri official called a near total fish kill for 60 miles, with nearly 800,000 fish reportedly dying and piling up on the banks of the rivers. Though somewhat fortunately, the vast majority were smaller species, so the actual loss of biomass is much lower than the numbers suggest. But still, we're talking about this being Iowa's worst fish kill since runoff from a dairy farm in 2013 killed more than 800,000. And a fisheries biologist telling the New York Times the ecosystem could take decades to fully recover, but follow to stay in the loop.